What are you doing? I'll tell you how it works, okay? So it's not really meant to be like a it's not really meant to be like a hidden feature or something, but essentially this was the hardcore systems we were gonna do. Um it's gonna be tied into a bit of like the gang territories and gang sprays and shit like that. So basically you unlock a certain amount of gang sprays, um, you get pistols, you unlock a extra set of gang, gang, gang sprays, you unlock SMGs, and if you get the top tier, then you unlock rifles. To craft, that is. Um, but how the crafting works is, if I craft 10 guns, each time I craft one gun, the price of the rifles go up by 5,000, I think. <clears throat> with a base price of like, I don't know, 100k, 50k or something. So if they, if, if somebody makes 20 guns, um, it's going to be a minimum of like 250k for a gun. You know what I mean? So you can't just like mass produce whenever the fuck you want and shit. Uh, and then I think what we got to do though is like have some sort of system where you can destroy the weapon. So, um, you know... You, if, if you, uh, can, you know, do a bank robbery or some shit like that, because you've got a class two and you, you want to make sure you're safe, um, you can destroy it after. Um, that way you could get a first one into circulation for without keeping the price up, sort of thing. Hey, baby Alex, what are you doing, beautiful man? What happens to current benches? Uh, I'm not completely sure entirely, but more than likely they're going to be a uh, ditch show. Most stupidest thing I've ever heard. Well, listen, if you weren't a fucking retard on the internet that has absolutely no idea on how any of these systems work, I'd take your advice, but sadly, you're just a retard on the internet, dude. <clears throat> Reuse the parts? Yeah, something like that could work. Could definitely be a possibility. Yeah, well, it's got it's got to be on the whitelist. That's um, but the the thing is with the gang systems, I plan to add more to it as well. I'm not sure what, but uh, I like the idea of unlocks being through systems like that rather than behind one person's whitelist. So a gang has to get their way there rather than rely on you know somebody else that's gonna be a fucking millionaire for whatever reason. <sighs> It's so unbalanced. In which way is it unbalanced, you fucking Neanderthal? Do you, don't you feel like a dumb fuck trying to have an argument when you don't explain your side of the argument? It's like you, you, you're like a lawyer that goes to a court case about murder and you go, it was such a murder. Case closed. You know what I mean? You, you're literally just a fucking retard. <clears throat> Trap houses, yeah, shit like that. Uh, so with the hardcore, I do plan to bring some 2.0 systems back as well. So it'll be like a mixture. Maybe even some of the 2.0 heists and jailbreak shit. The ones that worked anyway, the, the, the ones that were decent. <clears throat> Is this a new server? Well, so some, some of it will be uh, in the new one, but... I'm just at this point, like while uh, while this server's sort of you know boring, I think changing up, you know, like like we're getting new chief of police and all that sort of shit. Changes like this are interesting just to keep the server, you know, e even if not everyone's going to agree with it. Um, if you don't make changes like this, especially when it's uh, starting to get stale, uh, everyone gets fucking so bored, dude, so bored. Gangs just can't compete with others like conflict, etc. It's not going to be fair on the smaller gangs. So it's like IRL, you mean? That's crazy, dude. That's crazy that a small gang can't compete with a big gang. Hey, mom! Mom! D did you know bigger gangs are stronger? What do you mean I'm a retard? Okay. Mom just called me retarded. Sorry, dude. 